Well, I've done it guys. I've officially hit rock bottom. I'm brushing my teeth in a dirty parking lot at the uh, Country Inn and Suites in the middle of Woodbury, Minnesota. Sturgeon last night got me all kinds of fricked up. I don't even know which way is left and which way is right. Seeing that Sturgeon posed too much of a challenge for Chris Bila and I, we've decided to switch gears and go for something a little bit more achievable, a goal that is easier to accomplish. That being chasing after smallmouth, something that we've done before and we know just a little bit about. My plan is we take Old Blue, Chris rides shotgun, I get in the front seat, we send it on over to the Mississippi River, the northern part of the Mississippi River, not the Mississippi River you guys are probably familiar with, and we chase after some warm water discharge smallmouth. This is something I did with Perrick last year. It was wildly successful, it was so much fun, and this year we're gonna try it, and we're gonna try something a little bit different and see if we can catch some fish. First I have to brush my teeth though, because I have disgusting breath. Stay tuned, enjoy. That's it, yeah. it's all the way down there. We gotta throw our waders on. We've made it. It's wide open water. Everything in Minnesota that we've seen so far has been completely frozen. But the cool thing about this spot and what we're about to fish is that it is completely open. This is a heat discharge section of the Mississippi. Um, I believe up river right, oh look at that Chris. Look at that. This guy fighting a fish? What? <laughs> big small mouth. That's what I'm saying, dude. You ready for this? You ready, homie? Let's get it, baby. Okay, cool. So we're gonna get uh we're gonna get all situated. I've got my where are my duck waiters at? There they're at. Here we go. Okay, cool. Let's get situated. I'm gonna throw the chest mount on, get the rods rigged up, and we are gonna get after it. You ready to get wrecked, Holmes? How many like we're gonna give this a few hours, right? I'm guessing. What's that? A few hours. Give this a few hours. Let's give it to like four, you know? What's up, man? How's it going? What's that? You guys are smoking them? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, you've went in, went in? Doing some doing some backstrokes or what? Nice. <laughs> yeah, I've seen so many people, like, just as soon as we pulled up, hooked up, hooked up. No one's out here. I, I was telling him, I was like, it's probably going to be freaking packed, and I forgot that it was a Vikings game today, so that's rad. How many of you guys caught today? A handful? Over a dozen. Wow. Any sizable ones, like three yeah, pounders? And... Close Holy smokes. Oh my god, you guys are dialed. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna pop on over there. Yeah. You guys are you guys still fishing or are you wrapping it up? Yeah. Cool. Nice. Hey, it's nice talking with you guys. Yeah. Take care. So as Chris and I were walking to the spot, saw some viewers hoisting up a nice three and a half pound smallmouth. They said that this pressure and the fact that today is the Vikings game has got everyone off the water. So we've got pretty much this place all to ourselves, minus a few other hardcore dudes. We're gonna give it our all. The river's looking like it's pumping good current. Water's clear. People are catching fish. This should be an epic challenge and an even more epic video for you guys. I'm gonna try to get some underwater footage too with this camera. We'll, uh, we'll play it by ear though and see what happens. I'm pumped and so ready. Huh. Iceberg incoming. About to get cranked by it. Look at that. Oh, we aren't in Florida anymore. That is for sure. <laughs> okay. It's not good. You got any bites? Got one. Um, do you want to try more down there or do you want to go to the hot water discharge? How's it going, man? I thought it was you too. What's up, dude? That's Catching nuts. Them? Uh, we got like 24, 25. Oh wow. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. Find, yeah. a, find a group of them. They're not really spread out, are they? We'll give it a run. Thanks so much, man. Hey, it's nice meeting you. Yeah. yeah right. Take care, dude. See? That's why I'm like not discouraged right now. Like, I, I just think we gotta find like... I think I got lucky as a duck, man. I mean, if I catch one or two small, that'd be stoked. Whatever. I need something. If we f***ing skunk at this mission, go back for surgeon and not catch those, we've been licking our wounds since we got here, dude. Bit, and then you want to throw like your small like tubes, two, two and a half, let it drift and then just like slowly off it back. You're moving it with the drift, you're moving yeah, it with the current. Drifting. It'll just kind of be like that almost. Yeah, yeah okay. Like well, cool. we'll give it a go. Yeah. I got some tubes. Right. Thanks, guys. Thank Have a good one. You just got to find the right little condensed pile of rock with a bunch of fatzos on it. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. All right, let's move. Let's go, 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 go. Come on, Chris. Let's go find some freaking smallmouth right now. Uh-oh. We got some ducks. Chris, we got ducks. Should I call them in? I've got the uh, Flare Signature Series duck call. I'm going to give them a give them a little toot, see if they come on in. Nice little alternative since we're not catching any smallmouth right now. You got to blow it harder. Blow it like this is an awful duck call. Poop dollar. 
<laughs> we should poop dollar some people. That's, that'd be like a good uh, audible. Let's uh, let's poop dollar some Minnesotans. Poop, dude. We need to bring that back. I loved poop dollar. Poop dollar. <laughs> Holy, does it get deep right here? No fish, no fish to be found yet. It's a bit slow. This is not the, this is not the Mississippi River that I remember. This is quite mundane. There we go. I'm on. I'm on. We are hooked up. That's a good one. That's a good fish. Good smolly. Good smolly. Big smolly. Big smolly. Came out of nowhere. Oh my god. Oh, it's a giant. It's a giant. Dude, it's so big. Yes, I need help. Th yes, dude, it's actually a giant. Oh, buddy, did you see it? Dude, this is my biggest this is my biggest Mississippi or smallmouth, guaranteed. I think it's like close to 5. I don't know. I could be wrong. I could just be freaking out, but this fish is Freaking, freaking well look at this look at this though he's swimming up current this is a, it's definitely not it's okay so it's not three pounds oh, wow. <laughs> it's a pretty freaking big one isn't it <laughs> dude it's a nice one. Oh, buddy you got him chris where's he at right there right okay, there okay. right there this is always good oh god oh god oh god okay let go let go let go let go okay got him Oh, that's a stud, dude. That's a freaking four pounder all day. Want to put him on the Zabco? That's my first. <laughs> that's my first fish of the freaking day. Can you that believe it? Fat? Look how he ate that. You mind uh, taking a video of me with this fish? Yeah. One. How about that? Is that got your blood pumping? <laughs> want to get a line real quick? Yeah, I want to get up on shore. She got some cheese on her for sure. What do we got, Chris? Well, that's over 20 inches. Wow, so. that's a big one, dude. It's misleading, isn't it? No way. Dude, that's almost 21 inches. That's Wow, that's crazy. That's a big fish. That's almost a 21 inch smallmouth. Look at his gut. This makes the six and a half hour drive all worth it, baby. <laughs> yes. This is the remedy to the sturgeon burn. That's a 20 and a half inch. That's a pig. That is a Mississippi River, Minnesota pig smallmouth. I'm going to capture this moment on the camera via photo and then we're gonna get a steezy release and hopefully Chris can get his first maybe a 21 incher let's get a bigger one they're in here there's so there's so many big fish in here back in the water our smallmouth goes yeah it was pretty Give big it to me homie Woo! that is what we want Big river smallies with giant kickers. You know how big the tail on the thing was? was huge. Yeah, that's why I, I think that's I think why that's I was over was 20. Yeah, that was so weird. The fish like the fish didn't look that big no, like on the video or in person. And this thing isn't like this or thing isn't it wrong, yeah. but it's just because it's a big tail. Alright, there you go. We're done though. We're out of here. See you later, Mississippi. Lucky. Come here. Oh, Here's my little small mouth. What do you think of today's video? Good or bad? It's okay, I think. Could have been better, right? I agree. Chris and I left the Mississippi River and somehow winded up at Minnesota's largest Chinese buffet ever. I'm starting to think half these trips are driven by food and not fishing and filming. In the Chinese buffet, I was trying to explain what I did that day, but it was so loud. I just wasn't even realizing the fact that I was in a busy restaurant trying to explain like how I was catching that small mouth. Long story short, I'm here now doing a re-wrap up of this video you're watching. Let's talk about how I caught that small mouth. This is the setup. This is swiftly becoming one of my new favorite spinning combos other than the rig rod that uh, of course I helped design. But this right here is a favorite fishing Yonker River, seven foot medium light action rod, I believe it is. Oh God, don't quote me guys. Me it's just a medium, sorry. This is the rod that I used to catch that big small yon. And the reel on here is a favorite Jackhammer 2500 size spinning reel, juiced up with some 20 pound braid. Now, what really, really matters is what I caught that fish on, what it actually fit. And it's something as straightforward as a craw on a freaking shaky head. Watch closely, don't blink. Here we go. Focus on the craw, focus on the craw, there we go. So we've got a little tiny finesse craw right here. And paired with that, we've got a little tiny finesse shaky head. Now the shaky head is a 1 4 ounce, I was using a 1 8 ounce, that wasn't good enough. There's a lot of current, so the heavier the weight, the better if you're fishing more current. I was taking this little craw, Biting just a little bit off so I would have more room to put that shaky head on. Twist it on there. And then I bend that crawl back just a bit so I can put that hook in there. And 
voila. Just like that, you got yourself a Mississippi River smallmouth special. So the smallmouth catch went down like this. Ripped a long cast out there about 30 yards, let the current take it. I was feeling for rocks, I was letting that bait kind of bounce to the rocks. And as I'm bringing that bait back in, it's starting to pendulum to the right. It's going with the current. And basically, I got lucky. What are you doing? So I was waiting for that bait to hit some rocks and finally I got into a big pile of chunk rocks to the point where it kind of got difficult to pull that bait out of there. The boulders look something like this down there and that's exactly where these smallmouth live. They live right behind these boulders, either posted up away from the current or waiting for bait to come right in their domain. I got into some rocky areas, I pulled it out, boom, that fish absolutely hammered it despite the cold weather and there was a fish. Amazing thing on earth, I love smallmouth, I love river fishing and I especially love the Mississippi River in Minnesota. If you guys wanna purchase anything that I talked about today and try to do this for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description below. Before I wrap up today's video, I got one more thing I wanna hit you guys with. You guys remember those rig bands I talked about on this channel a while back. There was a black and red one and there was a red and black one. My dad, who runs the band side of rig fishing, has come up with a new design. Check this puppy out. In honor of the winter ice fishing season, he's designed a icy rigged Band. My dad really hit a home run on this. It's an awesome design. If you guys want to pick one up yourself, I'll also leave that link in the description below along with the rigged fishing Instagram page. If you guys purchase one of these bands, catch a big fish with a rigged rod or wearing like one of the GT hats or wearing a rigged shirt, send it to that page and it will most likely get reposted. My pops runs that page. He does such a great job doing it. That would mean the world to me. It would mean the world to him. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Do not worry though, we've got one more Minnesota video coming in hot. Other than that, I am signing out saying farewell. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I sincerely hope you enjoyed. As always guys, stay safe, be good, catch fish, and most importantly, keep fishing. Never stop.